What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step on how to draw Ronald McDonald. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So we start on the left side and draw a circle. Starting from the very top, come around towards the bottom. And I'm just gonna pull that back up towards the top. Now we wanna leave a gap in the center and draw the same thing on the right. So we're gonna line up the top of the circle and come around to the same height and then back up towards the top. We're also gonna add a small highlight circle on the top left side of the eye. So up against the edge of the eye, just gonna come around and then back out. Let's line this up on the right and do the same thing. I'm also gonna add that same size circle in the center of the eye for the pupil, but we're gonna go in behind the highlight. So we'll start at the very bottom. Just gonna come around and go back out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Come down to the bottom and back out, and then we'll fill the pupils in black. Let's line up the nose with the bottom edge of the eyes. So in the center, we draw an oval. Starting from the top, come all the way around to the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now I'm gonna step up and draw a short curve going up and then down. Let's move down and draw on the mouth. Starting back on the left side, and curve down around the nose, and then back up. We're gonna round out the sides. Just pulling that in, on the left and right. Then we'll go back over to the left side. We're gonna curve down and then back up on the right. Come down a little bit lower in the middle, and pull that up on the right. Let's go back to the left side and draw the edge of the mouth. Coming down and up. And then we'll add a bracket on the corners of the mouth. Let's add a point along the bottom of each eye. Starting on the left, we're going to come down an angle. And then go back up. Do the same thing on the right. And we'll fill those in black. Let's add the eyebrows above each eye. Starting on the left, we're gonna curve up and hook that back down on the inside. We'll line this up on the right and we'll do the same thing. Now that we've drawn in the face, let's move out and draw in the hair. In the center, we're gonna go all the way up to the top, start with a point. Now we're gonna curve down and then out towards the side. So let's start with the left side first. Coming down, over the eyebrow, just pull that out. Go back to the center and do the same thing on the right. Coming down and then out. And then we're gonna feather out the side of the hair. Starting on the left, curve down and then out. And do the same thing on the right side. Let's do that one more time. Stepping up, come down and then out. Do the same thing on the right. Let's draw the bottom of the head in behind the hair. We're gonna start on the left side, curve down underneath the mouth, and then pull that up on the right. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the outside of the hair. From that center point, we'll go up towards the top, start with a point. Now from here, I'm gonna curve up and then down on the left. Right about there. Go back to the center and do the same thing on the right, going up, and then we'll bend that down. Now I'm gonna go back to the left side. I'm gonna bump out the side of the hair and then hook that back in. And then we'll tuck the bottom of the hair in underneath. Stepping out, cut down, and then pull that up underneath the head. Now I'm gonna move down and draw on the side of the body. Starting over on the left side, I'm gonna curve out and then down towards the left hip. Move over towards the right, curve out and down towards the right hip. Let's go back up to the top and draw on the collar. We're gonna start on the left side, just underneath the head. I'm gonna curve down and then up. Now from the center, I'm gonna draw an angle line, coming down towards the left and then the right. 
And then from the bottom tip of the collar, I'm going to curve out and up towards the top of the body. Let's add the zipper. Starting from the top, underneath the collar, we draw two straight lines. One on the left, and then one on the right. And then we'll close off the bottom. And then we're going to add that McDonald's symbol over on the right side. We're going to start with a circle, starting from the very top. Go all the way down towards the bottom and then back up towards the top. And then we'll draw on the golden arches. Starting from the top and the center, start with a point. From here we're going to curve up and bend that down towards the left. Go back to the center, curve up and then down towards the right. Let's flatten off the ends with a straight line. Now on the left side, I just want to curve back up and then pull that down in the middle. I want to flatten off the center, go up and then back down on the right. From the bottom of the zipper, we're going to step all the way down, draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down, leaving a gap in the middle, go to the left side, curve out and down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, curve out and down towards the right heel. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, I'm going to come down and then bend that up towards the toe. Let's go back to the left side and round out the top of the foot. Starting here, we're going to go up. I'm just going to hook that down to right about there. And let's do the same thing on the right. Going up to the same height and then bending that down. I'm going to add a lace on the inside. Starting from the bottom, I'm just going to curl this back around, up, and then out in behind the foot. And do the same thing on the right side. And then from the inside of the lace, I'm going to curve down and up towards the inside of the leg. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the foot. We want to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across from toe to heel, and then from heel to toe. Now we're going to go back up to the hips and round out the side of the leg. Let's start on the left hip and curve out, round out the leg, and then pull that in on top of the foot. Do the same thing on the right side. Now going back to the outside of the leg on the left, I'm going to curve down and up, line this up on the right, and do the same thing. And then we're going to draw that same curve two more times along the bottom. Start at the top, and one more underneath, and we'll do the same thing on the right side. And then we're going to add two angled pockets on either side. Starting on the left, we're going to angle down and out. Line this up on the right. Do the same thing. Let's flatten off the inside and outside. Move down and in with a short line. Go to the outside. Do the same thing. And we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Now we're going to move up and draw the arms out towards the side. Starting at the top of the body on the left. Start by curving down and then up towards the wrist, go to the right, and we'll do the same thing. Let's draw the thumb. From the wrist, we're going to curve up, and then hook that back down, and then we'll add the palm, curving out, and then hooking that in. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going up, bending the thumb down, and then from here we're going to draw the palm going out, and then in. And then we're going to draw three fingers on either side. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, go up and out, round up the finger, and then come back in. And do the same thing on the right. Up, and then in. Let's add a second finger, going out, rounding out the finger, coming back in. And then we'll do that one more time. Going out, and then in. And we want to connect the bottom of the finger to the wrist with a curve. So we're going to come down and pull that back up towards the top. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming down and then up towards the base of the thumb. And then from the bottom of the hand, I'm going to curve down and then in behind the body. Let's line this up on the right. Go down and then up. And then we'll add some stripes along the arm. Starting on the left side from the wrist, we're going to step in, 
Step around and then out. Step in. And we'll start to angle the curve coming in towards the body. Going in and then down and then one more time. Let's do the same thing on the right. And then one more along the top of the arm. And that's pretty much it. There's Ronald McDonald. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.